Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just joking. Welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you the currently unreleased brand new SUV called the Toros. This is um, very interesting. So if we quickly find it now in this um, vehicle spawner, because as you can see, I am back on PC so I can bring you these unreleased vehicles. We've got the Toros. We'll go quickly spawn this in. And you can see it is um, an SUV Lamborghini. This is fucking insane. So as you can see, as we do pull into LS Customs, you can see the Bugatti Tor Toros is, like I've already said, in the SUV category. And we're going to start this build with 100% body armor. Then we're going to go to the brakes. We're going to grab the race brakes. We've got the engine. We're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts. Loads of options for the exhausts. The big boards are all right as well. They, they kind of fill that gap nicely. The aluminiums. I don't know, though. The standard ones probably look the best. I don't know, man. So much, too much options, <laughs> too many options. I might go with these ones. The Troy Vector. I'm gonna go with those bad boys. What a fuck not. Next, we've got the front bumpers. Loads of options for the front bumpers as well, which is awesome. That actually looks really nice. Same again in the carbon. Some really, oh wow, the diffuser looks really good. I love that. And then we've got the diffuser street build, so it look, gives you a little bit more at the bottom, like a splitter at the bottom. Um, I th I think um, I like this the street build. That actually looks really good. So I'm gonna go with a Bugatti street build. Next, we're gonna go to the grill. Loads of options for the grill as well. Loving this, man. There's so many customization options for this car so far. I'm loving it. We've got the street grill. Um, that looks alright actually. I really like that. All these options look really good as well. The performance grill looks good as well. I'm not disliking any of these. Wow. We've got the exposed intercooler there. That looks fucking awesome. What's the difference there? Oh, okay. So we're changing that to a carbon version of that. And we've got the luxury grill. The chrome with the exposed intercooler behind it. I'm digging this though, man. The, the chrome exposed in the cooler that looks amazing so I'm going to go with that bad boy then we're going to go to the hood loads of options again man I can't remember the, the, <laughs> the last car that we had which had this many options sort of like for a standard um, LS customs build it is crazy how many options we've got it's amazing I love it um, so nothing stand out until we get to this the bevel hood that looks awesome then we've got the same bit in carbon. Then with the performance hood, same again in carbon. Man, the Mark One that looks mental. That looks so crazy. Oh man, that just they just get even crazier. Shit, man, I love this car. Too many options. I don't know what to choose. Even though that bevel does look really good, but then the performance also looks really good as well. I think that looks meaner. Or does it? Or does this one, the Mark 1? Shit, man. I'm going to go with the Mark 1. I think that looks insanely monstrous. Alrighty then. So next we've got the lights. We're going to go headlights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And something I don't usually do, I am going to purchase a neon kit. I'm going to go front, back and sides. Um, but I'm just going to keep it white for the neon colour. Then we've got the option for a livery. Uh, so we've got the standard two-stripe. And then we've got the Tauros. Um, orange logo on the side and yeah it kind of goes a little bit crazy like racy and um, it's not my style especially for this sort of SUV vehicle I don't think it really suits um, the classic stripes look alright and even the orange Taurus looks alright as well and then it just goes mental um, I don't think I'm going to have any of them because I think it looks better without. It looks nicer when it's a lot cleaner. So then we're going to go to the mud guards, And we are not going to purchase the mud guards. So next we're going to go to the respray. Primary colour. Uh, we're going to go... Let's go metallic on this bitch. Black, white, silver, grey. It's not going to cut it. It's going to have to be something outlandish. And that lava red actually looks really good. Digging that. Yeah, man. Let's go lava red for the primary metallic. Secondary, we're also going to go metallic. And uh, are we going to purchase the same color? Yeah, what the hell not. We're going to go lava red also. 
then we've got an option for trim color. I'm assuming, yep, it is going to be the interior, um, which it's not actually the the interior seats. It is just the the stitching. Okay, um, so maybe we'll try and change that to lava red if we've got it, which we do. We're going to grab that. So then we get a roof option. What we've got here. Okay, so we can change it to carbon. Oh man, this is insane. Crazy options, man. You even put a roof rack on it. What the hell? The Vortex generators, I actually really like them. Right guys, so in my opinion, uh, the Vortex generators and the ridged roof look the nicest. I think I might go with yeah, let's go with the Vortex Generators. Then we've got side skirts. We've got a primary extension, secondary extension, and the carbon. I'm going to keep it carbon if I do purchase one because obviously the bottom of the car is already black. You don't want to be changing it up. But I don't think it needs it. So I'm going to stay stock for the skirts. The spoiler. We've got an upper spoiler and a lower spoiler. <laughs> Shit, okay. I don't. I think this is the first vehicle I've ever customized that has this option, where it's got an upper and a lower. Yeah, I'm not really digging these spoilers, man. I don't think an SUV should really have them. <laughs> I think they look a bit odd, but because we've got the vortex generators as well, uh, we, you know, I, we really don't need a spoiler extension on there. So we're going to leave it as it is. Then we're going to go to the suspension. Oh shit, man, that drops dramatically, like so much. Fuck. We're going to have a race suspension all the way. Transmission, we're going to get a super transmission. Turbo, we're going to get a turbo tuning. The wheels. Um, for a change, the wheels are actually wank. You know, they, <laughs> especially with the newer vehicles, uh, the stock wheels have actually been a lot better than any of the aftermarket wheels on here. Um, but for this vehicle, these wheels are awful. I really dislike them. So we are going to definitely change them up. And we could go SUV. Oh, that sucks, man. See, the diameter of the wheel changes. It gets smaller with the aftermarkets. That's so bad. It's so annoying when it does that. But these look cool. I actually like the cut of rims, so we're going to grab them. And the wheel color, we're going to change it from black to carbon black to lighten up a little bit. It matches the trim around the bottom part of the car there. So we're going to go carbon black. For the tires, we're going to get the bulletproof tires, which we've already purchased. And what does the tire design look like? Might even get a tire design on it. Yeah, what the hell not? Let's go cu custom tires. And to finish off the build, as always, we go into the windows and purchase the light smoke window tint. So you go, my bros. There is the brand new Pegasi Tauros, and it has to be nighttime, motherfucker. But at least you can see my little underglow I've got going on there. Um, let's see if we can lighten the mood a little bit. There you go. Midday is probably the best day to do it. And we're going to pause the clock so it doesn't change. Sweet as a nut. Look at that. So now as we can see in the beautiful sunshine that this vehicle is really fucking slow. Oh, there we go. Fuck knows what happened there. Like my car spazzed out for some reason. It felt like an electric car, but now it is going really fast. This is definitely going to be the new quickest SUV. And oh my god, it is really difficult to control. It is quick and big and bouncy and a little bit slidey. <laughs> and really heavy on the steering as well. I'm trying to spin it around corners and it's just really heavy to turn. Um, but it's, you know, it's an SUV, man, so it's not going to be the most nimblest vehicle. But I'm really impressed with it. I actually really, really like this vehicle. Um, maybe not for the sort of thing to be using in, in like everyday GTA life because like I said it is quite clunky it's hard to to turn sometimes and it does seem a bit you know heavy on the steering especially um, but it's definitely quick it's definitely beautiful and I'm definitely digging up so guys that is going to be the end of the video I hope you guys did enjoy my build on the brand new currently unreleased Pegasi Tauros. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA videos. And until next time, guys, I'm out.
Adios. Thank you.